here we are. The oh, 2024 yeah. oh, yeah. NFL full first round mock draft. Full. 1.0 yeah. with dues days. Oh, yeah. Here's the rules. No trades, all right? All 32 picks, though. We're going to alternate. Dues, start us off. You're on the clock with the Chicago Bears. I don't even think this is a surprise. Caleb Williams. Uh, I am now picking for the Washington Commanders, number two. I'm going to go with the quarterback. I've got this quarterback class viewed as Caleb Williams is number one, so I yeah. liked your first pick. I would have went there if you didn't. <laughs> and now I got Drake May. Pick number three, the Patriots now. So I'm going to go with Jaden Daniels. Yeah. I mean, the Patriots, they need a quarterback traded away already. Mac Jones to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You get your quarterback of the future and Jaden Daniels. All right. Number four <laughs> in this draft, the Arizona Cardinals. Marvin Harrison Jr., as my good friend Gus Johnson would say, Maserati Mar. Maserati Mar. Pick number five. We know Jim Harbaugh is the Chargers head coach. Mm -hmm. One thing they like to do is run the football. We go to your alma mater, Joe Alt. Oh, you're taking my guy. Uh, could you get tricky at the sixth pick? Uh, I'm going to get, this moment might surprise you. Okay, let's right. see. I'm going to go with J.J. McCarthy. That's what I was going to ask. I was okay. like, are you going to shake right, it up? Right, are you right, going right. to shake it up? Okay. I think Jones provides the bridge quarterback. You got locked there for insurance. Yeah. And then J.J. McCarthy, who can learn, develop, eventually go play. So this next pick is tricky, right? Because the Titans have needs at the offensive line position, and, and they need a true number one receiver, right? Uh, so that's why I'm going to lean on picking an O lineman. I'm going to go Olu Fashanu. The eighth pick yeah. of this draft. I think I know where you're going. Falcons. I'm going with Dallas Turner. Is that where you thought I was of going? Of course, that's where I thought you were going. The number nine pick right here, Malik Neighbors. I'm no, going number nine. No, 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 no. Uh, well, I know where you would go, but I'm a quarterback, so I like throwing the football. No, that's where I would go. Okay, all right. I think he's going to be best out of all three of them when it's said and done. Really? Yeah, I do. Roma Dunze. Rona, Roma, Roma Dunze. Dunze. Why are yeah. you out of Washington? Oh, number 11, the Vikings, right? Uh, quarterback is an issue right now. I'm going to say the Vikings do take a quarterback, and I'm going to say Michael Penix Jr. at 11. All right, I like that for him. He had an unbelievable tape this yeah, past season. Number 12 pick, I've got the Denver Broncos. Edge is another, another yep. position I'd look at, so I'm going to go with Jared Verse. Makes a lot of sense. Sorry, Broncos fans. I know you may not be happy about that, but <laughs> he's a heck of a player. Pick number 13, the Las Vegas Raiders. They made some moves in free agency. Christian Wilkins was a big signing for them. Sign Gardner Minshew, too. I'm going to go offensive line. I'm going to take Talese Fuaga as a guy that can play tackle or oh, guard for them and really solidify that offensive All right. line. All right. Number 14th pick, the New Orleans Saints. Uh, again, a number of directions we could go here. Uh, I was looking at interior defensive linemen. Okay. Um, but also, I've got a guy that balled out. Okay. At the combine. I'm going to go with Brian Thomas Jr. at LSU. And I think this is actually the range he'll go in. A lot of people aren't talking about him enough because Malik Neighbors was the LSU. Yeah, but, but Brian in New Orleans, he stays at home. Yeah, LSU Brian guy. Thomas is point. a guy. I've been getting a lot of talk from different scouts who's going to be in the teen area. So I like that pick for the New Orleans Saints. Plus, they lost Michael Thomas. Yeah. Changed one Thomas for another Thomas. Yep. Let's go to the Colts, right? Uh, they signed a lot of their own players back uh, this offseason in free agency. But I'm going to take the first DB off the board. I'm going to go corner here, right? I'm going to go Quignon Mitchell. Next up, the number 16 pick, Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to go with Troy Fatano. Love this tape. Uh, he'll probably play more guard. That's a need for the Seattle Seahawks. They're pretty good as yeah. far as the both tackle spots. So maybe a little bit high for a guard, but I think that helps the run game, helps protect Geno, mm -hmm. build through the trenches. Pick 17, the Jacksonville Jaguars really shored up that interior offensive line. Could look at offensive tackle here, but I'm going to go corner again. And this time I am going to go Terion Arnold from Alabama. Guy that has the flexibility to play in the slot and outside. Again, another tough pick at number 18. This is Saudi Bengals. Bengals. Uh, yeah. As of right now, you got T. Higgins still on the roster under the franchise tag. I still got to protect the franchise and Joe Burrow. I'm thinking J.C. Okay. Lat Latham um, okay. from Alabama. Pick number 19, Rams, another team that really showed up that interior of the offensive line. I'm going to go with a game changer that's already on the West Coast. Latu, Latu. Oh, okay, uh, edge player. Like yeah. That. We've got the Steelers. I'm torn right here because they've addressed some of their concerns in free agency. Yep. I'm going to go with A.D. Mitchell. Mm, I actually love that pick. Okay, going with the Dolphins now. I'm actually going to go corner since they lost Xavier Howard. And I'm going to go uh, Nate Wiggins. All right, out of Clemson. Yeah. This is another tough spot here because I feel like the Eagles also need help in the secondary. Cooper DeGene out of Iowa. Mm. Versatile player, played makes extremely well for the Hawkeyes. I think he makes sense in the way they can fit him 
into their scheme and move him around. Houston Texans, a team that surprised everybody last year, went to the playoffs. Not only that, won in the first round. I like my favorite player in this draft, and it's Rake Straw. Oh, Adam okay, Mizzou. Adam Missouri, yeah. yeah, man. Real physical guy. It's rare that you see a corner be a tone setter. That's exactly what he is. All right. Dallas Cowboys, they haven't been very active in free agency thus far. A uh, number of spots you could look here. You know, the running back class, uh, I don't know that you put many of these guys up here in the first round. Talent. Probably not. You know, maybe they're in a spot at 24. They trade out Ooh. of this particular spot. Uh, but I think interior offensive line, the way they've built that offensive line, that's the position I'm going to look at here. Ooh. I'm going to go with Jackson Powers Johnson. That was literally my pick for the uh, Green Bay Packers. I am going to take Tyler Guyton, a guy that oh, to wow. me has the second highest upside at, in the tackle position in this class. So at the 26th pick, I've got the Tampa Bay Bucks team, Kool-Aid McKistry. Probably the coolest name. Yeah, I'm for sure. Pick number 27, the Cardinals. You already took Marvin Harrison Jr. earlier. I, did, yeah. I could potentially see the Cardinals doubling down at receiver. I am going to go edge right here. And I believe a guy that has the flexibility to play inside and outside, Darius Robinson. You know, the Bills are an, an interesting one. You, you could go cornerback here. Um, you could go edge to a guy that I really like from, uh, I think, how he performed at the combine, how he performed all year. And this is a position that the Bills at number 28 overall have gone after in the draft. But Chop Robinson. Okay, dang, sure he took my guy. <laughs> Well, the Lions' edge would make a lot of sense. I don't think anybody is worthy of a first-round pick left on the board right now. And then corner would be another glaring spot. But they did trade for Carlton Davis, so they did lose Jonah Jackson. Yeah. So I think interior, Graham Barton makes a lot of sense. Okay. A guy that can play all five positions on the offensive line. I'm going to go defense. Really? Braylon Trice out of Washington. Ooh, you took an edge guy. Yeah. They need it, though. Uh, the 49ers, right, uh, they just extended their right tackle for one more season. Yep. But I think Amaris Mims makes a lot of sense because he doesn't have to yeah. start this year. Yeah. Only eight starts in college football. And he's the, one of those guys, Brady, he's the first guy you want walking off the bus for your team. He's shy. <laughs> he's, he's the shy. first guy you want walking off the he's bus for your team. Was, I mean, he can stretch oh, yeah. out wide and reach, all that. I've got a couple different thoughts over the 30-second pick. Uh-oh. I could go with the tackle because I do think they need some offensive line help there mm -hmm. in Kansas City, which – I'd be looking at Jordan Morgan That's pretty out much. of Arizona. Yeah. Although, man, I don't know. Maybe I'm a sucker for it, but like, I would just love to see another version of this Chiefs team with speed like Tyreek Hill had. So Xavier I'm going to go with Xavier Ward. Uh, okay. The guy who ran the fastest four-yard dash we've ever seen out of Texas. He's tiny, but he's a blazer, and he, he could be right. a playmaker with Patrick Mahomes' arms. So that's the 30-second pick. All signs point to them being on the right track to getting a three-peat, and supposedly – Patrick Mahomes could restructure his contract. Yeah, he did. He oh, that's right. Little cap space. So, so there you go. Dude says it. A three-peat for three the Kansas City Chiefs because of my 30-second pick <laughs> on draft 1.0.